All right, hey guys, here we are back for hole number two. I'm going to take a look at this one with a free to play ball, Kingmaker. So it is going to kind of change wind effect a little bit. So you'll see with what I'm trying to do, still trying to keep this ball guy going through the hole. You know, you got to keep in mind that it's going to collapse down a bit. So you can see with where I'm trying to aim, with how my ball guide looks. Um, I'm definitely going to be going more rings than 11. I can tell you that. And also, you'll you know you'll try to have to get that pull angle down as well. It'll be important. So that's what tw at least 12 and a half there, minimum. Might have even been about 12.7. So let's just see what that looks like. Really got, and it looks like I hit that fairway. And you see what that's going to do. It, it, and, you know, this kind of touches on what I was mentioning. Um, you know, I didn't use enough offset, as you can see, um, because it was still, you know, maybe I would say two rings to the left. So it was significant. But that just goes to show you about that second bounce, how important that second bounce is. Because when you get it up on that fringe, and I touched on this the uh, in the other guide. So do check out that guide. Um, you're going to have to kind of change. You know, you can see the way this opponent's doing it. He, he he has a different ball, but he's using too much offset. That's too much to the right here, um, for sh for sure. Um, for me, it might not have been. So it might not have even been enough. So keep that in mind, like what what that ball guide looks, and how much he has it out pointed out there to the to the right it's going to be too much um but I, but i'm assuming it looks like he didn't go enough rings so you can see he hits the fairway um you're not going to want to hit that fairway because it is going to really change the pitch of the ball you'll see that it won't roll out the same so it won't have the same ball guide when you hit that fairway so you'll need to make sure that you do get it up and clip that fringe and that's what you'll wor work on trying to master and I'm just going to go ahead and at least show you what this looks like down here. Um, because I'm imagining that, uh, you know, this could be a spot that you wind up in. At least until you start to get this shot dialed in. So let me show you what it looks like just in case you do need it. You can see with what I did, I, I, I have the ball guide. You know, I don't want to keep it on the front here because I don't want that long rollout. I want the more consistent rollout. So you'll see I'm not even playing the wind here. Um, and it's really just going to come down to perfect ball. It looks like I didn't catch, catch it, but you'll see, you know, with the way that rolls out speed wise, it's going to be much more reliable than trying to play that on the front there and having it scoot through the whole way. So you'll want to avoid doing that. And you'll just have to kind of play it up the green just a little bit more. So good luck with that hole, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one.